Hello, I'm Joe Wren. A new study estimates how many Indiana Medicare recipients avoided the hospital and premature death after getting vaccinated. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services study estimates the COVID-19 vaccine prevented 1,300 deaths, 9,500 cases, and 3,600 hospitalizations in Indiana during the first five months of the year. Also, a new COVID testing and vaccination clinic opened today in Ellettsville. The site is in the Ellettsville Christian Church parking lot and is open through October. 9th. A tenured member of the Indiana University Law School faculty says the Board of Trustees ignored its own search committee recommendations in hiring Pam Witten as IU's president to replace Michael McRobbie. Steve Sanders says his report is based on interviews with eight people close to the search process. However, none of his sources are named in the story. IU spokesman Chuck Carney says the university will not comment, but wants to make it clear that IU is committed to following all policies and laws to protect the integrity of personnel recruitment and hiring. Well, lawmakers are discussing ways to make it easier for those with out-of-state professional licenses to transfer credentials into Indiana. This summer, lawmakers heard from frustrated health care providers who testified that transferring credentials into Indiana is cumbersome and slow. But when it came to turning those ideas into legislation, lawmakers couldn't agree. There seems to be some concern that we're actually stepping up the bar that they have to get over now. So I just want us to go through this very carefully. To pass a preliminary draft of a bill, the study committee needed eight votes. It only received seven. Quick check of the forecast. Rain tonight, lows of 63 in the five-day forecast. Tomorrow on Thursday, a 90% chance of thunderstorms, a slight chance of rain. Friday clearing out for the weekend. More online.